What's the position of object pronouns in a sentence in English? Do you know it? Do you know the answer? So, the position of object pronouns in a sentence in English is always after the verb. Never before the verb. Always after the verb. This point is very important. I repeat. Object pronouns always come after a verb. So this is what we are going to <clears throat> focus on today. <clears throat> Sorry. First of all, we're going to see examples of object pronouns with positive and negative imperative. We use object pronouns a lot with the imperative in English. Let's see. In this example, we have the same verb, help, but different object pronouns. The first example, help me, please. The second example, help him tomorrow. The third example, help her to find her glasses, please. The fourth example, help us to finish the presentation. And the last example, help them with a cup of coffee. As you notice, the words with the red color are called object pronouns. These pronouns always come after a verb and never before the verb. So see, okay, all of them, they are after the verb help. Let's repeat these examples with me. Help me, please. Help him tomorrow. Help her to find her glasses, please. Help us to finish the presentation. Help them with a cup of coffee. We can say also, so me, it refers to I. Him refers to he. Her refers to she. Us refers to we. Them refers to they. But let me give you this example. Can we say in English, help I, please? It's not correct. Why? Because I always comes before the verb and never after the verb. So, if you want to say, help me, you need to say, help me and not help I. Another example, you cannot say, help he. Never. We cannot say, help she. Never. We cannot say, help we. Never. We cannot say, help they. Never. So, these pronouns that we are studying today, they, can, they come only after the verb and never before the verb. I hope you understood this point. Let's continue. Now, the negative form of the imperative, help me, don't help me, please. I don't need your help. Don't help him tomorrow. Don't help her to find her glasses, please. Let her find them by herself. Don't help us to finish the presentation. We are going to finish it without your help. Don't help them with a cup of coffee. As you see, so the same, help me, help him, help her, help us, help them. Let's go to the next slide. 
So here we have uh, all the, uh, the examples in this slide. We put just me, okay, with different verbs. The first example, as we've seen, help me, please. The second example, call me tomorrow. The third example, show me your passport, please. The fourth example, give me your ID, please. ID means identity card. And the last example, bring me a glass of water, please. As you see from this example, we have verbs and the word that comes after these verbs is just me. It means it refers to I, but we cannot say help I, call I, show I, give I, bring I, no, because I always comes before the verb. In the uh, coming lessons, I am going to show you the difference between subject pronouns and object pronouns in a lesson. Now, today's lesson is just about object pronouns. Let's repeat after me. Help me, please. Call me tomorrow. Show me your passport, please. Give me your ID, please. Bring me a glass of water, please. Let's go to the next slide, the negative form. Don't help me. Don't call me tomorrow. Don't show me your passport. Don't give me your ID. Don't bring me a glass of water. Help me, call me, show me, give me, bring me. Let's continue. The same, we are going to see more examples of me. Tell me a story. Listen to me, please. Wait for me a minute. Look at me now. Visit me at home. So let's see the verbs. Tell me, listen to me. So some verbs, uh, me comes uh, with, uh, directly after the verb, but other verbs, we have preposition between the verb and me. For example, listen to me. We cannot say listen me. We cannot, we cannot say wait me. So listen to me, wait for me, look at me. So you learn these verbs with practice. Visit me. So let's see the negative form. Don't tell me a story. Don't listen to me. Don't wait for me. Don't look at me now. Don't visit me at home. Let's continue with more examples. Come with 